asked you a couple of days ago about how to lay up a Flemish eye, and I had a couple to do, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, so this is a backstay for the MSC Barry. This is her uh, 150th um, anniversary. This is um, Thomas backstay, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old one, I'm going to set it right here, and kind of get, get uh, just an eyeball as far as the size. Do a mark, and I'll mark this all the way around. This is four strand hemp. Once I have my marks, and I do mark it pretty much all the way around, because I'm going to want to be able to see that later. I'll take two of these and unlay them carefully. And the core to one side. That's my first set of marks. Go ahead and reinforce the marks if you need to. It's good to be able to see them, you know, on both sets. Once I get down here, I'm just going to unlay just a shade past the mark. And if you'll notice, I also left about 10, 12 inches of material beyond the mark to, to worm and parcel and tuck with. Ah, so right there. So this is the side with the core in it. I'll fold it back around. I'll take, lay it under, I'll line up my mark, and I will start relaying the eye. You see that just rolls right back in. Just like if you were making a grommet. And so, and what I like about these eyes is because it has both arms wrapped around and then uh, uh, some light sail making tucks, this will get wormed, parceled, it'll get scraped, and everything will be tucked in real smooth. and. It'll look a lot more like this. This is the old one. You can see how all of the material was used um, and, and scraped down into a nice taper. So I'll throw the last couple of turns in here. And you'll see when they come down, they should cross. So you have two on one side and two on the other. You see all my marks line up. And then you can always just take your, you know, take your thumb and push and just fair it up a little bit. And that's just a regular Flemish eye. Now then when you come down here for your tucks, because there's, there's a couple of ways you can do them. Uh, one of the old kind of ways to do it would be to put a short, lay these flat, put a short little whipping right here and then scrape everything and um, parcel and serve it. Um, I'll throw a few, I'll split this out into, into, into yarn. I'll throw a few sail making tucks in here and then we'll scrape it and par worm it, parcel it, and then serve over top of it. We'll show a couple of other pictures through the course of making this. Thank you.